हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन फंक्शन ऑफ गोल सीक ऑप्शन ऑफ ओपन ऑफ स्कैल्क एंड दिस इज द फिफ्थ टॉपिक ऑफ सेशन वन ऑफ यूनिट टू इलेक्ट्रॉनिक स्प्रेडशीट सो नाउ जस्ट टू एक्सप्लेन द फंक्शन ऑफ गोल सीक ऑप्शन हियर वन क्वेश्चन और सिचुएशन आई हैव कंसीडर्ड एंड दिस सिचुएशन आई एम गोइंग टू यूज जस्ट टू एक्सप्लेन द फंक्शन ऑफ दिस गोल सीक ऑप्शन सो हियर वॉट इज गिवन दैट कैलकुलेट सिंपल इंटरेस्ट If principal equals to twenty five thousand, rate of interest is seven point five percent, and time is two years. So first of all, here what we have to do, we have to calculate the simple interest in the situation where principal is twenty five thousand, rate of interest is seven point five percent, and time is two years. So here principal I am going to enter as twenty five thousand, rate of interest is seven point five only, and time is two. And here in this cell I have to calculate the simple interest. So formula of the simple interest is. Principal into rate into time divided by hundred. So that formula I am going to enter here. So equal that bracket open multiplication of the principal by rate of interest by time and thereafter divided by hundred. So here now you can see that I have entered the formula of the simple interest that is principal into rate of interest into time divided by hundred. Now as I am pressing the enter key here I am getting the simple interest three thousand seven hundred fifty. Now, fun part of this question we have solved that simple interest was asked to calculate and that we have calculated. Now, next is also calculate value of P means principal if simple interest is four thousand five hundred by using goal seek option of open office cal. Now, here what we have to do next is that we have to find principal. What will be the principal if simple interest is four thousand five hundred? So now here I am going to use goal seek option of open office calc to find the principal when simple interest is four thousand five hundred. So now first of all here I have selected the cell that is containing the formula for the simple interest calculation, and thereafter I am just moving to the tools tab of the menu bar. And here as I clicked on the tools tab, I am getting one menu, and in this menu I have to select this goal seek option. So as I am selecting this goal seek option. Here I am getting goal seek window. In the goal seek window, I am getting three fields here. First one is the formula cell. So here we have to select the cell that is containing the formula. So here that cell already I have selected before selecting this goal seek option. That is F16. So F16 cell reference we are getting here in the formula cell. Next is target value. So here we have to enter what simple interest we want. So here, as I want simple interest as 4,500, so 4,500 I have to enter in the target value. And next is variable cell. So now variable cell means which cell value we want to change here. So I have to here actually find principal value. So here principal value will change. So this cell is containing the principal value. So this I am selecting. So now this cell reference is in the variable cell field. And there after I am clicking on the OK option. So here we have to click on the yes option. So now here you can see that when the principal is thirty thousand, in that case simple interest will be four thousand five hundred in the same rate of interest seven point five percent at time two years. So in this way we can use goal seek option to find the values. Now here one more situation I am considering that if I want simple interest as six thousand, then in that case what will be the principal? So now here what I have to do again I am going to use the goal seek option. So four thousand five hundred. This cell is containing the formula, and thereafter tools again, goal seek, and now here formula cell already selected that is F sixteen. Thereafter target value. So I want simple interest as six thousand. So I have to enter here six thousand, and thereafter variable cell. So principal here I want to change. So this cell is selected, and thereafter okay, and thereafter yes. So now in case when the principal is forty thousand. In that situation, simple interest will be six thousand. So in this way, we can use the goal seek. So one example of the goal seek function you have seen here. Now I'm just going to show you one more function of the goal seek or one more situation where we can use this goal seek option. And this situation I have taken from the CBSC study material. So here one question is given: A student is planning her goals about the marks she should attain in the forthcoming semester four examination in order to achieve a distinction seventy five percent. So now here one student wants to score seventy five percent marks in each subject, and now next what is given here that assuming that examination of each subject is for hundred marks, her marks of the previous semester are given as hundred. 
so find out how many marks should she obtain in four semester to secure distinction so here overall what is given that so four subjects are there subject 1 2 3 and 4 and marks of three semesters are given and now here we have to find what should be her score in the four semester each subject to get distinction or 75 percent marks in each subject so for this purpose again i'm going to use goal seek now how i will use goal seek in this situation so as i'm going to find 75 percent for each subject and i have to consider all the four semesters so i'm just entering the formula to calculate this percentage in this cell that is e18 so here equal thereafter now just to calculate the percentage first of all i have to sum up all the four semesters subject one marks and that i will divide by four so this bracket then first marks then second then third and thereafter as this cell right now is not containing the value but this also have to consider so this one is selected then bracket close and thereafter actually what we have to do this we have to multiply by 100 and thereafter we have to divide by 400 but i'm just directly dividing this by 4 so here we are getting 64.75 so right now this student is able to score 64.75 percent but i have to tell that what should be her score in the four semester examination just to get here 75 percent so for this i am again going to use the goal c so this cell that is containing the percentage is selected and then after tools tab and here goal seek now in the goal seek here formula cell so formula is contained by e18 so that is already selected target value so i want in place of this 64.75 75 only so that 75 i have entered here and variable cell so this cell i have to fill by the marks so that is a variable cell selected and thereafter okay and then yes so now here you can see that this student has to score 41 marks in the subject one in fourth semester to score 75 percent marks or distinction in the subject now for the next one also i'm going to use the same method but here in place of writing the same formula for the percentage calculation again and again we can use this fill handle so here as formula is available so this cell is selected and thereafter fill handle i'm going to use so clicked on it and thereafter i'm dragging it in the right hand side so now formula percentage i have copied in all the other three cells and now one by one i will use goal seek option for all the remaining three subjects so this cell is selected thereafter tools then goal seek and here f18 this is a f18 okay correct then target value i want in place of 57.5 75 75 i have entered here and variable cell so here in this cell i have to enter the value so this is a variable cell and then okay and thereafter yes so here in the subject to this student has to score 70 marks in four semester to score or achieve distinction in this subject now next one so select it then again tools goal seek and thereafter target value that is 75 and variable cell is this one this time and thereafter okay and then yes so here in the subject three this student has to score 80 marks in four semester to achieve 75 percentage in subject three and the last one is this one selected thereafter tools goal seek and thereafter target value again 75 and thereafter variable cell this one and then okay and thereafter yes so here this student has to score 41 marks in the subject one 70 marks in the subject two 80 marks in subject three and 77 marks in subject four to achieve distinction or 75 percent marks in each subject here or in this situation so in this way we can use goal seek option of the open office calc so here this fifth topic of the session one of unit two is ending and uh, next topic i will cover in the next video so this video i am going to end here